Hello everyone, welcome uh, to the road to CAT 99. So almost all MBA entrance exams are over and the last exam or the second last exam you can say is the uh, Z 2023 and uh, the exam was on the easier side or the similar side as of the CAT 2022. Uh, in this video, we will discuss ki, uh, actually the uh, questions ki baat ho hai. Uh, there are some wrong questions in this year Z. Uh, you can say those are the wrong questions or the confusing questions and uh, a lot of people uh, mark the different answers for those questions. So we will discuss ki what uh, what is the correct answer and uh, how the uh, ZAT authorities will deal with that. So for that purpose, we will uh, see the past record of the ZAT authorities towards the solution to these discrepancies. And uh, basis on that, we will uh, analyze what could happen in the future. Uh, just uh, one more info. Uh, on the 15th of uh, January, uh, the final answer key would be released at 2 p.m. on the ZAT website. So you can check. Uh, the final solution, your final score. Uh, so the uh, there are three questions and all three questions are related to the quant or uh, DI in any way. Uh, there would be no discrepancy in the uh, VA or in the DM part. So nothing would be changed here. Even if you uh, challenge some questions or some their reasoning and obviously there would be many different answers in the official answer key as compared to those released by the CL or the Kraku. So uh, the first question was of the uh, uh, three kick, uh, cricket players are there and uh, we have to tell whether the distance is calculated by this or this. Uh, I personally marked only a uh, first statement to be true there uh, but have been seeing the discussion uh, and there are some possibilities that the answer can also be uh, found with the help of second statement also and some people are saying that the figure can't be possible in such scenario so according to them this is the discrepancy question and i also feel that if there are more than uh, one option like only one only two both or figure not possible then the answer is found to be on the discrepancy side and full marks would be awarded to all the candidates whether you have attempted the question or you haven't attempted the question. So plus one would be awarded to all in this question. So this is for the first question. Then there was a question of uh, X and Y where X and Y are positive numbers and there is some equation equal to 7P. This was given and you have to, uh, uh, you have to find the minimum value of uh, uh, difference of x minus y right something like this so uh, in that question if you form the equation you would realize that there could not be any possible positive value of x and y given that x and y were also integers so this situation is not possible situation is not possible this type of answer is already present in situation not possible this type of answer is already present in the past year's ads. So this is the correct answer for this question. But the options given were uh, like this, uh, 1, 3, 5, 7 and none of the above. This type of option one given. So if situation is not possible, one can't select this. Neither this, neither this, neither this. So only this is uh, this thing is left. So you should select this option because this oh, this includes anything except this. So anything except this means this also includes situation not possible. So in my opinion, uh, this should not be considered for uh, as a discrepancy and no marks uh, would be provided for this thing. And even if you challenge, I don't think that authorities will provide the marks for this uh, or consider this to be their mistake because uh, on the part of authorities, uh, the discrepancy seems as a negative thing. Uh, so they might not consider, given that they also uh, 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 gave the option like situation not possible in uh, past. So they might be expecting this type of thing in the none of the above. So, so far, uh, this uh, the one question of uh, uh, cricket was found to be discrepant. And the, the third or we can say the second word was of the DI related to COVID where you have to find the uh, number of females, approx number of females and many or almost the 
स्टूडेंट्स हु हैव मार्क दैट आंसर हैव मार्क 125 एज देयर आंसर बट इफ यू पुट 125 इन द डाटा द होल सेट बिकम्स इनकंसिस्टेंट I have watched other videos of other educators, and uh, they are saying that option uh, option should be eighty. But as there was no eighty, so uh, one twenty five uh, have been marked due to approximation. Or and obviously one twenty five should be the answer if you go by the approximation. But the real thing is this is not satisfying the table. The table which was given one twenty five is not satisfying that table. And if you put one twenty five in that table, sub values appear to be negative. So number of people can't be negative or can't be uh, in decimals. So this one twenty one twenty five will lead to the inconsistent uh, data set. So that's why this must be uh, considered as the incorrect or considered as the discrepancy by the ZAT authorities, and full marks should be given in the COVID. So plus one here, plus one here. that means uh, this this section is uh, both the uh, both the questions are from the quant section so quant cutoffs can be higher if both uh, question are considered for the discrepancy and plus 2 is given to all the candidates so you can expect the cutoffs to be at 10 to 11 maybe i am not very sure or maybe 9 because this year quant is on the easier side there are very uh, there are many seaters in the uh, quant so this is the one thing plus there might be a uh, no gain for the students who have already attempted this question and marked 125 and here marked only one theek hai and the other thing i would say is obviously we will see on the 15 jan that what uh, the answer is given for the zat uh, this Uh, uh, this year they took their time to release the answer key, so they might update uh, the answer key with the discrepancy stuff, all uh, so that they don't have to handle too much of the complaints. But let's see what happens. For more MBA related contents, you can subscribe to the Road to Cat ninety nine channel. And if you want GDPI videos on my channel, let me know. Uh, I'm in talk with someone who can provide the free YouTube videos for the GDPI. related to the politics history and everything so if you guys want that also you can comment down and show your love thank you and have a very very happy day for the cat 23 aspirants if you are already watching my channel please comment and let me know uh, what type of video should i release so uh, that would be helpful for you at this point of time so thank you and have a very very happy day